King Charles III regalia will a gal weighing 6 kilograms and a crown that is 2 kilograms in weight would be put on his head. Britain's contemporary king will put on hefty coatings of golden gowns for the precise minute he ceremoniously undertakes the power of the throne. During the enthronement, that part of the coronation procession and procedures in which the crowning takes place, King Charles III will dress up with a gold-sleeved coat recognized as the super tunica, with a weight of approximately 2 kilograms. On top of this, he will also don a 3 to 4 kilograms floor-length robe named the Imperial Mantle, in the presence of Archbishop of Canterbury seats the 2.23 kilogram St. Edward's crown on the latest ruler's head. The super tunica, similarly branded as the closed pall of cloth of gold, is designed with silk fiber enveloped in fine bits of gold. It was fashioned for Charles' great-grandfather George V in 1911. King Charles III's mom Queen Elizabeth II in 1953 wore it during her coronation ceremony. The imperial mantle, or robe royal, meanwhile, is decorated with conventional arabesques and flower patterned, and was made for King George IV in 1921. Charles will be aided in wearing the weighty apparel, which is customarily preserved at the Tower of London, by his son and heir to the throne, William, Prince of Wales. Caroline de Guitat, assistant inspector of the King's works of painting for the Royal Collection Trust, said of the robes and I quote, they have clearly incredible historic significance, but they are also significant because of the sacred nature of their use during the investiture. They are absolutely redolent of coronation ceremony. She added and I quote, they have been worn at numerous coronations and His Majesty the King is following in this tradition of re-wearing these very ancient and historic garments. By disparity, the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, will purportedly abandon the customary magnificent look for the occasion on May 6, having made up her mind to wear a floret crown rather than a tiara. Arrangements are also being organized for the first time the crown ornaments will show up in in the community since Queen Elizabeth II's coronation virtually 60 years ago. Additionally, to these remarkable historic regalia, regal team are shining up royal scepters, the St. Edward's staff, and the 17th-century sword of state to be utilized on Saturday the 6th of May. Britain prepares for King Charles' coronation. More than 2,200 individuals will be present at the King Charles' coronation, Buckingham Palace said on Monday, incorporating intercontinental delegates from 203 nations as well as the public and aid organization workforces. When he was enthroned, King Charles had a legacy of wealth comprising of palaces, castles, and estates, giving him a profusion of homes to cherry-pick from when it comes to making a decision as to where to reside. The king has three certified dwellings, Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle and the Palace of Holyrood House, but there are other, lesser-known houses in his collection too. Charles had six homes scattered across the UK before his succession, extending up to Scotland and all the way down to the Isles of Scilly. One is a bit further on the countryside, explicitly, a vibrant homestead situated in the pastoral village of Viscri, Transylvania. While it is not known accurately where King Charles and Queen Camilla decide to live after their coronation, it has been proposed that they will relocate to Buckingham Palace once its renovation is done and dusted in approximately four years. Charles is the same as his mom and allegedly does not appreciate living there and has for ten years divided his time between Clarence House in London and Highgrove House in Gloucestershire. Preceding informants asserted that, for this reason, he may choose not to live there lastingly, but purely use it for imperial business such as formal engagements, functions, and state dinners. And they are rather young. It seems likely that the robes will not be as long and heavy as in coronations past, and perhaps not lined with ermine fur. Monarch and consort are each flanked by two bishops, who assist them as needed. For the monarch, it has been the bishops of Durham and of Bath and Wells for hundreds of years. Traditionally, nobles were given the honor to carry pieces of regalia in the procession. There will also be plenty of heralds, standard bearers, musicians, and choir singers. The Guest List Members of the immediate royal family, up through the descendants of George V, will be invited. It has been confirmed that Prince Harry will attend, but Meghan, Archie, and Lilibet will remain home in California. In 1950.